Well, lawyers for the family of an American student killed in the 2015 Paris terrorist attacks appeared before a Supreme Court today. They're suing YouTube's parent company, Google, arguing the platform aided ISIS by allowing their videos to be posted and promoted. National correspondent Atra El Nishar explains. In a landmark case before the Supreme Court, Gonzalez versus Google, two laws may be at odds with each other. One of them, Section 230 of the Communications Decency Act, is designed to allow online platforms to prosper free of liability. The other, the Anti-Terrorism Act, meant to deter and punish acts of terrorism. Can you run an internet operation if you're responsible for everything that comes over the wire? We've got a fundamental issue here about uh, communications, about the freedom of communications, and whether you're actually aiding foreign terrorists when you allow for the dissemination of the information. The family of Nahemi Gonzalez killed in the 2015 Paris attacks has lost in lower courts. They want accountability from YouTube for ISIS videos on the site. Tech companies say changing Section 230 would mean they either moderate all content or none of it, comparing that outcome to a digital Wild West. During Tuesday's oral argument, some of the justices questioned if this is a decision instead for Congress. Now, if they punt the issue to lawmakers, it may give tech companies only temporary reprieve because Section 230 reforms have been a rare area of bipartisan agreement. Efforts to prevent misinformation or preserve political speech have been partisan priorities. But in recent months, nearly unanimous agreement, Congress needs to make the Internet safer for kids. Unless there is a provable effort by these companies to police their own uh, product, uh, they would be exposed to liability. If these companies think they're going to be on the hook for multi-hundred million dollar or more fines and damages from multiple suits all across the country, they'll change their act. Lawmakers slow to act on these goals, pending a legislative breakthrough or definitive ruling from the Supreme Court, which this court tends to avoid, big tech goes unchecked. On Capitol Hill, I'm Atrel Nishar reporting.